Hey everyone, Mike here. And today as I'm on my way home from work and having some lunch, I wanted to get on here and talk about another anime that recently caught my attention. I am talking today about Demon Slayer. Now, I am very new to this series. I literally learned about it like two, three days ago. Basically, one of my coworkers and I were talking about anime, and he says to me, well, have you ever heard of Demon Slayer? Admittedly, I had, well, I got it mixed up with Goblin Slayer, to be honest, and I was not a fan of Goblin Slayer. Sorry, distracted by the person ahead of me who's like right in the middle of the line. Anyway, Goblin Slayer, while I know the first episode is not like as dark as anime gets, I've definitely seen darker, it was a little bit darker than my personal preference reaches, so I wasn't a fan. When I realized that this was not Goblin Slayer, I decided to go ahead and give it a shot, and I'm enjoying it so far. Admittedly, at this point, I am right in the middle of episode 5. I was watching it during my break here at work and um, had to go back to work before I finished the episode. Um, the tone of this series threw me off a little initially. Because the first episode is very serious kind of dark, kind of depressing, kind of brutal with the murder of his family and all that. And then in the second episode, I'm seeing little traces of comedy in kind of the, the goofy anime style comedy. So I was a little thrown off and the post credits scene, which the you know next episode previews, those are done like in full on comedy mode. So the tone of the show was a little bit confusing and in a way I think it's a bit jarring. Because there's nothing wrong with having a mixture of, you know, action, seriousness, and comedy. But when the majority of your show is very serious and then you throw in little bits of really goofy facial expressions and all that, it can be kind of jarring. Um, one thing I really did like was that... Uh, the training scenes were kept to only a couple of episodes. A lot of times in a show like this, you'll get like seven episodes of training before we finally get to the meat and potatoes of the story. Thankfully, they did not do that in this case. They made sure it was clear that he spent two years on this training. He didn't just pick it up like anything. But they went through it in a lot of like montage style We'd see him struggling with this one thing. We'd see him eventually overcome it while mentioning how long he spent working towards it. I really like that we aren't focusing too much on that. We're, we're getting right into the meat potatoes of him being a demon slayer. I know there's a couple of other characters that I'm going we're going to be introduced to that I haven't seen yet. Um, one is a guy in an orange outfit who I've seen a little bit during the final selection scenes. And the other is a guy with a boar's head. I'm not sure if it's a mask or if the character actually has a boar's head. I guess we'll find out when I get there. Um, so we've got a couple more characters going to be meeting. I'm really interested in getting more of uh, uh, Nezuko. We have, we've gotten a little bit from her in the first couple episodes, and then she's been just like in a coma for two years. And I'm, I'm fine with the idea that she could survive that because, you know, she's technically a demon, so she probably is capable of surviving that. But there's the question, one, of why... Why is she just, like, gone into hibernation mode? Um, 
I wonder if maybe it has anything to do with uh, hunger. I mean, she hasn't eaten since uh, she turned into a demon, which brought another question to my mind. Do the demons in this world have to eat humans? Or is it something they do out of choice? Uh, for example, there was a movie I saw once that had uh, zombies. And this one zombie was mostly sentient. So he tried to avoid eating humans because, you know, he knew what he was doing. But everything else he ate, he just ended up throwing up afterwards. He couldn't digest it. And uh, that made me wonder, is that the same case here? Can demons eat things other than humans? Or do they just choose to eat humans because they prefer the taste or it gives them more power? Maybe this is explained in, you know, upcoming episodes that I haven't reached yet. Uh, I guess, again, we'll find out. Yeah, there's uh, not a lot more that I have on it yet, because, again, I'm very early into this series. I just started watching it. Uh, the only reason I'm in the middle of an episode, as I said, is because I had to go back to work. Uh, where I left off was the final selection had just completed, and uh, Tanjiro had just uh, threatened to break the arm of the guy who was uh, basically going after the little, like, girls from The Shining. I actually want to know a little more about this guy. I don't know if he's just going to be, like, the short-lived uh, antagonistic type guy or if he's going to play a bigger part. I can guess that he probably had family killed by demons and thus wants to get revenge, which is why he's so adamant about getting a sword right away, because I think he just wants to get out there and and go for his revenge. I don't know if we're actually going to get any more on him, or if he's just kind of a minor piece to this story. Uh, either way, when I get home here, I'm probably going to pop some more episodes on and see if I can get a little bit more caught up. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys are thinking of the show, though. Um, in this case, I prefer more general feelings on it because um, I don't want spoilers. And I know that it's like in episode 20 or 21, somewhere around there. Uh, it shouldn't take me too long to get caught up. And when I do, I might do another one of these videos. We'll have to see. But yeah, I encourage uh, feedback. Tell me what you guys think of uh, Demon Slayer. And maybe we can, you know, converse back and forth, talk about different things on it. I can talk some more on it as I get further along. But yeah, that's all I've got on this one. So, until next time.